Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel Login8. In this video, I will guide you on how to create SAP account. So if you also want to create SAP account, this video is just for you. Follow the simple steps and you'll be able to do it. So SAP is a multinational software company that helps businesses manage their processes. So if you also want to create SAP account, it is actually very simple. For that, first of all, what you have to do is launch open any browser of your choice. You can see over here, I've opened Google Chrome. Now simply click on the search bar that you can see at the top. Now what you have to do is type in sap.com, press enter. Now after that you can see over here, you'll be led to the official website of SAP. You'll be able to find several informations over here. Also you'll be able to find several options. If you look at top right over here, you'll be able to find the profile icon. All you have to do is click on it. Now after that you can see over here this kind of pop-up will appear from here you'll be able to log in or create an SAP account. If you want to log into your account simply provide your business email address after that you'll be able to log into your account. But if you want to create your account simply click on the option create your SAP account that you can see right over here on your screen. Now after that you can see over here you'll be able to register for your account. All you have to do is provide this information so that you can see right over here on your screen. First of all you'll have to register your account. After that you'll have to verify your email addresses. After that you can access all resources. So first of all what you have to do is enter your first name. After that enter your last name. Now select the country or reason for yourself. Now after that, you'll have to enter your phone number. The country code will be selected according to the country you select. Now after that, what you have to do is enter the business email address. After that, you'll have to enter your company name. Simply enter your company name over here. After that, you'll have to choose the department. Simply select the department. Now after that, you'll have to choose the relationship to SAP. Simply choose the relationship over here. Now after that, simply check on the box. I have read and understood the terms and conditions of SAP.com. Now after you fill in all of this information, what you have to do is click on the submit option that you can see on the screen. Now after that, you can see over here, you'll be led to this kind of interface. Over here, what you have to do is verify your email address. You can see over here, an email will be sent to your email address. All you have to do is open Gmail. Simply go to new tab. Now click on the search bar, type in gmail.com, press enter. After that, you can see over here, Gmail will be opened. You can see over here, SAP has sent me the email. All you have to do is click on it. Now you can see over here, you'll have to finalize your account. Over here, you'll be able to find the button for click to activate your account. Simply click on it. Now after that, you can see over here, you'll be redirected to new page. Over here, what you have to do is create the password and confirm the password. Simply create the password for yourself. Make sure to create a very strong password. Your password must contain 8 to 100 characters. It must include three of the following upper letters, lower letters, numbers or symbols. Now after you create the password, what you have to do is confirm the password. Simply re-enter the password again. Now after that, check on the box. I acknowledge that I have read the SAP Universal ID terms of use. Now after that, what you have to do is click on the submit option that you can see on the screen. Now after that, you'll be led to this kind of interface. Over here, what you have to do is sign into your account. Simply enter your email, ID or login name. After that, click on the continue option that you can see on the screen. Now after that, you can see over here, you'll be led to this kind of interface. You can see over here, your account is now active. Now you'll be able to access all the resources. That means your account has been created. You can see over here, your account has been created. So that is how you create SAP account. I hope you found this video helpful. Thank you for watching. Make sure to like, share and subscribe to our channel.